Hi, welcome to Dit Dot. My name's Amanda, and on this channel, I do a lot of cooking videos, but I also love to do some product review videos. I'm not doing an unboxing video of this because there's a lot of those already on YouTube. Woohoo! Um, the vacuum cleaner, it came, or the carpet cleaner, it came out of a box and it was pretty easy to put together. You will need a screwdriver. But I'm really impressed with this so far. This is my second Bissell carpet cleaner. My last one lasted for 10 years and it was still going, but it wasn't suctioning up as well as it did when we first got it. So we decided to go ahead and retire that one and get a new Bissell. One of the things that I'm super excited right out of the box is that the dirty water tank and the clean water tank are separate. My last one, the clean water was actually like a bladder that fit down into the dirty water. Yeah, it was gross. It was disgusting to clean out. You would pour out the dirty water. Then you had this like silicone that had been sitting in dirty water that you then had to clean out. So I'm very happy that they have separated the two compartments. Oh, I guess I should say what specific carpet cleaner this is. This is the Bissell Pro Heat 2X Revolution Pet Pro Plus. So my beautiful tuxedo, yes, Watson, you'll be in the video too. <laughs> my, my beautiful tuxedo cat, Magic, unfortunately has had a couple UTIs and she's all better right now, but she's having behavioral issues of peeing on the carpet. So we are going to test this out on some spots that I've tried to hand scrub and that my old Bissell like just was struggling trying to get up. So we're gonna see if it'll tackle those spots. And then also my pug Watson, uh, he has like, um, he's kind of adopted the chair of our bedroom to be his bed and it needs a good shampooing. So we're going to try the hand tool on that. So I'm gonna fill this guy up and we will do some before and after shots and testing and see how this guy, we need to give her a name. Is it a she or a he? I don't know. <laughs> I will say even before filling this up, one another feature that I'm super excited about is that it has fill lines on the container that show your water and then how much formula to add. And it's got it marked for if you just wanna do a small spot or if you know that you're gonna be doing like a big room and you wanna use the whole tank, it's got it marked out for those amounts too. So that's really cool. I filled up the water tank and I also noticed that on it, it is labeled easy fill and max deep clean. And they gave you two samples in the box and I'm using the urine one, which is part how you use with a max deep clean according to the instructions. So the, form, the lines are a little bit different and I filled it when it was sitting on the counter up to that line because otherwise it's kind of hard to tell, you know, what angle you're supposed to do it. So I figured we're gonna try it sitting. <laughs> and it should snap right into this base. There you go, super easy. And let's take this guy upstairs and try those troubled spots. There are three spots that I'm concerned about. It might be kind of hard to tell on camera. This is a fairly new construction house. It's not quite even two years old, <laughs> but along the wall there, and then this spot right here has some urine stains. And then you see that streak? Our last Bissell put that streak down and all along here is some urine stains. So we are going to use our carpet cleaner and see what we can pull up. I'm so sad because this is the cleanest this machine will ever get. But at the end of this video, one of the things that I really wanna show you is to see how easy it is to take apart and clean. So make sure you stay to the end because I will be showing how this thing comes apart to clean it because that is such an important feature of a carpet cleaner. All right, I'm gonna do some sped up footage of me working this machine. Okay, so before I power on, there are some things to note. Right here is a switch that you go from express 
to deep clean to max clean. I want to do max clean with these urine spots. Also, there's a little hook right here that is a cord keeper while you're vacuuming. Super handy, it helps you, you know, control the cord. And the power button is over here on the left. And then there's a, um, this green button will put down extra concentration of cleaner. Okay, with the Max Clean, it said that the carpet will be damp for about eight hours because it puts down the most amount of cleaner. And yeah, it's definitely still damp. I'm gonna come back in a minute with the hand tool and try right along the edge there. In this next segment, you will see me using the Power Shot, which is supposed to put out extra cleaner. And you can see it kind of just dribbles out a long skinny line of cleaner. It's kind of useless. I was not really impressed with the power shot feature of this vacuum. I went over this spot until I could see the machine wasn't pulling, actively pulling more fluid up. And so it definitely looks better. That strip that the old Bissell left is completely gone. You can see a couple of my footprints there because I was going back over to check to see how wet it was. And, and y'all, for y'all on YouTube, I'm going to put my nose on my carpet and give it a sniff test. Now the floor is still damp, but okay. Yes, I still smell a little bit of urine, but it is not as bad as it was. It is quite significantly better. I do think that I'm gonna to need to go over this spot a couple more times. But like I said, my cat with the UTI, she was peeing in this spot continually for several days and we were hand cleaning it in between, but it just wasn't enough. So while before, when you walk down this hallway, it was like absolutely gross yay real life. Um, now you can barely smell it. And I do think that I will go over it, you know, a couple more times and do some of the spot pre-treating. And I think we'll be able to save this carpet. So I spot cleaned those three areas that I was telling you about. And so I've used about half of my water so far, but again, I'm on max clean, which uses a lot more water and cleaner. And I also went over it a lot more than the recommended five times, but oh my gosh, look how dirty, dirty, dirty that water is. That is so gross. Considering, like I said, we used our old Bissell just like a week ago to clean those spots. So yeah, all right. So this might look like a human chair, but you would be wrong. My dog has, just basically taking this chair over and we never really sit in it. But you know, every once in a while I do try to get it freshened up. So I'm gonna use the hand tool. This arm, I'm trying to show you, it's kind of shining, uh, has some like dark streaks on it. There is fur, there is like dog slobber, more dog slobber. And so I just figured that this would be a really good test. Now what I am gonna do is get my Tenco handheld vacuum cleaner, which is what the product, even for the carpets, you want to do a dry vacuum before you use the carpet cleaner. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll hook up the hand tool and <laughs> just see. I'm not expecting miracle results with this chair because Gosh, it's like 14 years old. And like I said, it's taken over by the dogs. Product review inside of a product review. If you haven't checked out my time go video, go do that. I absolutely love my cordless time co vacuum cleaner. It does an amazing job. Look at that. Oh. Okay, now for the Bissell. 
Co is this has a really long uh, hose. So if you're going to be using this for stairs, that's going to be awesome because you'll be able to reach pretty far up your stairs. So you lift up this and insert it. Now my old Bissell, you just had to pick up the wand and go. You never had to connect or disconnect and it stayed on the vacuum, but it would also fall off all the time when you were using it, which was a con. Okay, we're gonna try this nozzle first and that one I'm not exactly sure how to use yet. So this is still wet, so I'll come back. But wow, wow, it looks like a red chair again. Let this dry and I'll show it to you again in a little bit. I am going to go over this spot next to the edge with the hand tool just to see. Okay, so honest first impressions. I'm pleased with how it just generally got the carpet clean. Uh, the urine still is there, but I do have to put my nose right up to the carpet. Even after using the hand tool, I think I need to maybe pre-treat those spots a little bit more, but there's no denying that is disgusting that it did pull up a lot of dirty water. I mean, clean, shiny, pretty water, um, absolutely putrid water. <laughs> Editing Amanda here. I wanna say that we have now had this for several weeks. I filmed this video several weeks ago and I've become more and more impressed with this carpet cleaner, how easy it is to use and how easy it is to clean out. Also, I think that the smell that I was smelling when I filmed this section of the video that the urine had gone down to the pad of the carpet and we are going to have to just replace the pad. Uh, the carpet cleaner did a really good job of cleaning the carpet. There's no stains of urine anywhere in our carpet. Now for the last uh, test of this machine is to see how easy it is to clean. So all you do to get the dirty water bucket off is to lift it up. So that right there is really cool. And then it says that this will get sometimes dirty. I didn't pick up much debris for me, but let's go clean out this dirty tank. All right, we're gonna lift up this flap and just pour out, oh, gross. Yeah, <clears throat> lovely. <clears throat> That's gross, I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry you had to see that, but that came out of my carpet that I have been hand scrubbing for a couple weeks now. So the Bissell just got a little bit more, here, y'all don't need to keep saying that, <laughs> a little bit more exciting for me. Okay, so I'm just gonna like swirl some, let's see if this will fit in my bathroom sink. No, I'm gonna have to use my bathtub. One thing I don't wanna have to do is have to take this up and down stairs all the time to clean it. I'm just gonna put some water in here, swirl it around, put it back in the toilet, and it looks like it's super easy. Hold on, and then there's more parts that we can take apart for a deep cleaning. But for a like, you know, quick use one, this is all you're gonna have to do. But for an every like couple of uses deep clean, you are going to want to take it more apart. So the whole thing can come apart and be rinsed off. There's dog hair and cat hair that got trapped up in here. I'm gonna make sure I catch it before it goes down in my sink. So that was really easy. Now let's check out the bristles of the bottom. And you 
could also like leave this open to air dry between uses because you don't want it to get see my other one would get so gross because there was no way to really give it a good deep clean Okay, I normally wouldn't put this up on the counter, but I figured it'd just be the easiest way to show you. So one thing that I was sold on for this unit was that fact that you can clean all the nozzles without necessarily having to pull out extra tools. So let's see if that's actually true. So this lifts up and it's really easy to come off and it comes with this tool so that you can slide it up into this groove and pull out any pet hair that will accumulate over time. And this is something that you're just gonna have to do as like a deep clean every once in a while. Most likely you won't have to do it every time you use the machine. But like I said, my last one, we had for almost 10 years and after a while this would get kind of clogged up and so it would definitely need a cleaning. And then I would have to get out a screwdriver to take all this apart. But now they've got buttons so you can just push this up and then I'm gonna just use a little bit of toilet paper here and kind of swipe and clean it. I've got the my sink plugged to catch any loose hair so I can just kind of wipe out my sink. And then this has some like little grooves in it to kind of like clean any hairs that might get stuck on your bristles. I mean, obviously I didn't do that much today, so it's not too bad, but if you do this regularly, it won't build up on you. And I'm actually like really pleased how little cleaning I have to do. You've got these edge uh, bristles too, so you wanna keep an eye on them, but just keeping, <laughs> keeping your carpet cleaner clean, so important. Because if you want it to work for you, it is important. Ah, see that just locks right back into place. So yes, this is a hundred thousand times improvement over her. They're very old model, I will admit. So that makes me think that Bissell is listening to customer feedback and improving the user experience. So I'm gonna wrap this video up. Oh yeah, this also, you wanna just kind of give a quick rinse out. And you're good to go. Ugh, okay. Now I gotta clean my sink, but it actually is not that bad. It's several hours later and the chair is now dried, so I wanted to show it to y'all. It's nice and dry. It got quite a bit of the dirt off right here. There's still some here, but I didn't really concentrate on that spot because I didn't notice it. I was really concentrating on this spot <laughs> when I was cleaning. And so it's gone. So if I got it out again and made sure to scrub here, I think it would be good because I mean, look how bright red the seat is. And again, this chair is something like 14 years old. So I was not expecting perfection. So I'm really pleased with the results that I did get with the furniture cleaner. So in summary, I think I'm really pleased with the Bissell Pet Carpet Cleaner. It did a really good job on using the hand tool. I love how easy it is to clean. I think it did a, an amazing job pulling up dirt from our carpet. Like I said, I used my old carpet cleaner just about a week ago and for it to have pulled up that much dirt when I shampooed the carpets literally a week ago. Wow. So, um, that's a win. I think if you have a set in urine stains, then there are some more cleaners that I'm going to try. I think that maybe it's gotten down to the pad a little bit. So like I said, if you put your nose down to it, you can still smell but it pulled up a lot and I'm gonna keep working with some of the maybe other cleaner options that they have like in the kit. It came with another odor eater um, cleaner. And then they also have, they also sell some like spot boost cleaners that you can buy. So I'm not, I think that we still have a ways to go. When I was buying this, I looked at it and I was comparing it to the Tyneco 
because y'all know if y'all have seen my other videos, I love my Tyneco mop and I love my Tyneco uh, cordless vacuum cleaner. So my gut instinct was to get the Tyneco carpet shampooer, but even with an Amazon Prime sale, it was still $100 more than the Bissell. So without that sale, it would have been like $200 more. And some of the early reviews from the Tyneco Carpet One, people were really impressed with its carpet cleaning abilities, but not so much for the hand tool. And with pets, I wanted to be able to use it on my stairs and couches and, you know, being able to get up against the corner edges of carpets and things like that. So since our last one was a Bissell and I was very mostly pleased with it, I mean, at the time of purchase, it was really good. So I trust the Bissell brand, so I wanted to try it. And I think that we made a really good purchase with this one. So I am very pleased. Now, if you haven't checked out my Tyneco videos, boom, boom, make sure that you do because I absolutely 100% stand behind this project products, non-sponsored reviews, absolutely love them. And I hope you stick around for some of my cooking videos because I love having fun in the kitchen. And thanks for watching. Till the next one. Goodbye, guys.